Uh, uh, sippy cup because Sunday likes to knock things over. I have to explain it every time. And then after I get done drinking, close, put up, listen for the thud later on, run in, clean up the little spot that's left, and then throw Sunday off the stairs. Uh, what's up guys, Mike BAK Phony here. I want to do a year-end kind of wrap up and talk about the, the things that I've been doing uh, and the things that I plan on doing next year. Uh, not necessarily talk about specific games or anything. This is more of like production and all that. <clears throat> um, gonna try to keep it short. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hope it's short. Okay. <sighs> first, uh, big thanks to you guys. I, I, everybody says that. It's like, oh, first, I owe it all to you. And I really do, because this is what I do for a living. This is, I work here in my cave, and this is all I do, right? Uh, I, wow, well, I, 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 I'm here all the time. Um, I don't get a lot of sun. <laughs> um, I'm wearing pajamas, right? This is the life of working at home. I usually put, I usually put shorts on at least, though. I'm not a total jerk. Um, Do you guys actually see that? There you go, pajamas. Uh, it's been, it's been a great year so far. 2010 it was kind of like me stepping into the the market and really kind of stepping in the industry and trying to get myself out there and all that. Um, and 2011 has just really helped me take the next step and just take it to the next level. Uh, I'm big part of Game Breaker, obviously, if you guys don't already know, I'm a huge part of Game Breaker, um, as far as like, you know, uh, helping develop things and doing shows and getting the site off the ground and everything. Uh, so I'm doing lots of shows for, for us over there. Uh, let's see, individual shows. Let's go ahead and talk about things we've done this year. You guys have seen a lot of little things come out of me here on the YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, you guys have seen everything. If you're watching on Twitter, you guys have seen everything. Um, but on Facebook, you guys have probably, or on YouTube, you guys have probably missed a couple things. Um, there is Blizz Blues, right? Which obviously I plan to continue doing. Uh, I brought on a couple new characters, which will, which I go back and forth between, like every once in a while. Like last time I had Frosty, the or Mr. Salty, the, the snowman or something. Um, that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy, enjoy doing Blizz Blues. I, I really enjoy doing that level of machinima. I've actually seen in other uh, machinima makers where they're, where I, I've seen them actually kind of step up and started doing things live in game. That was my whole thing was, I don't like using the WoW model viewer so much because it takes a lot of time and it doesn't look as good. Honestly, if you could pull it off inside the game engine, do it. It takes a lot more coordination um, and it's kind of a pain in the ass because you're actually shooting uh, an episode, like you would shoot something like on the scene. You have to shoot, you have to pick a set, you have to make sure you're doing it at the right time of day, you have to uh, have the characters actually act off their parts, you know, even though it may seem very simple, it's actually very complicated. Uh, one day I'll actually release like a how-to machinima uh, series, that'll be a lot of fun. Because in doing this, I've learned lots and lots of tricks of how to get cool shots and do stuff like that. But uh, anyways, yeah, I've seen a lot of other machinima makers kind of take that turn into doing things more in the live realm uh, instead of relying on WoW Model Viewer so much. Obviously, there's things you could do in WoW Model Viewer that you can't do in the live, but I just feel like it has much more of a much more of a feeling. Like when you watch Blizz Blues, you look at it and you say, uh, "Hey, that's cool. I, I I know where that's at. I, I probably could have ran into Darnell just chilling out there like doing stuff. You know, that's I want people to to to, to see that and see that you know, Darnell is a real person, right, in the game. Um, and all these characters, they're real, they're in the game, they're not just made up on a blue screen uh, and then, you know, uh, superimposed on top of, like, a set. Uh, let's see, Star Wars Machinima is coming out. Obviously, I'm blending past and, and future here uh, because this is what I'm working on, like, right now. Um, there is going to be a Star Wars Machinima. Not quite sure how it's going to go down. Uh, Darnell's going to be in it. The new character that, that I introduced in uh, the 12 Days of Smack Talking is going to be in it. Kind of like him. Uh, it's very easy to voice because it's pretty much just my voice. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So that's coming. Uh, let's see. Going back to BFF reports. BFF reports is going to be going through some changes. If you haven't already noticed, uh, I stopped using the green screen. The last episode, I, I told you guys that the green screen would be going away. This is where the green screen used to be. It's no longer here. I hung up some studio foam here, crooked. It's kind of hanging there by a, a nail. Um, did it obviously because we take down the green screen and you clap, like you hear like the reverberation, reverberation all over the room. It's kind of like when you walk into like a brand new apartment and uh, and you you clap, right? You go in there and you're like, oh wow, this one's crazy. And you clap and it's like a dubstep clap. You're like, whoosh. Wah, wah, wah. You, know, you hear all that stuff. It's like it's. it's it becomes a bit crazy in here because I have vaulted ceilings. Uh, but I have studio foam like all over the place now. I haven't hung up the rest. I have tons more here to hang up. 
Um, I'm gonna hang it from the, suspend it from the ceiling a little bit to help break that up. And that way I get the sound here nice and tight. I think right now this actually sounds pretty good. Uh, I only did a couple of listen tests. Hopefully, is this microphone on? I'd really hate to have to do the whole thing again. Um, but, uh, so BFF Report, going through some actual production changes. <clears throat> as far as content changes, I wanna change it up a little bit where I'm not doing, I'm not spending uh, two days on an episode. Uh, if you notice lately, I've been doing, I have not been doing a lot of MMOs. I did Star Wars, obviously. Um, Tribes Ascend, which doesn't really count. It doesn't count at all, actually. Uh, there's progression, but there's not like a persistent world. Um, but I want to try to find a way to change the way the BF report flows because doing it the way I am every week is becoming more and more difficult because I'm doing more shows and I'm running out of time to be able to dedicate to doing <clears throat> a single show that might only be, <clears throat> this is my voice is like going, oh, oh my voice is gone. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's early morning here. Uh, of doing a doing a show that takes two days, and to really only have it be successful based on what game it is is very difficult to pull off. Um, the difference between doing like Stotor or World of Warcraft in BFF reports and doing like Tribes Ascend is like it's huge. <clears throat> I'll get like I'm not gonna give numbers obviously, but we're just gonna go ahead and throw out numbers like. I'll get 50 million views on the Sotor video, and I'll get like 1 million views on like a Tribes Ascend video. And so that kind of inconsistency is uh, a little difficult to deal with. It's like, because I'll, I'll spend just as much time doing uh, Tribes Ascend as I will doing a World of Warcraft video. <clears throat> Obviously, due to the popularity, it's going to be a little bit different, whatever. But I want to try to make it so that when I do a video, it's consistent in terms of time, and it's not such a huge contrast in terms of, of return. Uh, so how would I do that? I guess I would just kind of modify the way that I do it. Lately, I've been doing a lot more freestyling on stuff. Um, I've always done a little bit of improv, like where I'll basically write down notes and then I'll kind of improv on them when I do the BF report, which is a lot, why a lot of things sound like I'm just kind of talking. Um, but lately I've been doing much more improv, which is actually a lot more fun for me because I enjoy sitting there and just talking uh, and just getting things out just kind of off the cuff. So, so I'll see something like, wow, this guy is doing something, right? Something always, something's always happening if you're looking and when I do these reviews, there's always something happening, uh, which is why I put them in the BFF report. I think it's probably why you guys like it. Um, let's see. So yeah, I, I gotta kind of reevaluate how I'm doing that. Obviously I'm gonna keep doing the show. I love doing the BFF reports. Um, not as much as I love doing Blitz Blues or other shows, but uh, it is my flagship show. I do want to keep it going. I want to change the set around, kind of freshen things up a little bit. Uh, 15 Mog. 15 Mog, you guys probably saw on YouTube a couple times, um, but uh, obviously on Facebook, Twitter, you guys uh, have all seen this stuff. 15 Mog is going to go through a pretty major change. Obviously, without the green screen, without the green screen, there's no way I could actually do the show the way it was done before. And the reason why I made the change is because there's just too much. It's it's just a technical like feat making that show work uh, on a week to week basis. It's just it's so crazy. Can you guys hear that? Anyways, I got a squeaky chair. Um, it became so much work just to make the show work. It take more time to actually set it up and troubleshoot it and fix it and get things working every week than it did to actually sit down, record, edit, and render the show. It was just, it was just too much of a hassle. Uh, and the reason why is because I'm using the same cameras and microphones for everything. I do have two cameras. Uh, well, I have more than two cameras. I have two seven, or, um, uh, DSLRs that I use for videos, uh, which by the way, this one's gonna auto shut off in a second. You go ahead and hit that button. Show you all that stuff. Oh, look, the heat signal is all like, oh, God, I'm freaking out here. It's probably going to shut off on its own here in a minute anyways. Thanks. Um, but, you know, I do have all this gear and everything spread all over the place, but I also want to, um, but changing it back and forth uh, provides a lot of inconsistencies. So having, like, one or two sets where it's built and it's fixed is the way I want to kind of go, go with going forward. Uh, like, right now, just to build this stuff out, I had to, you know, basically kind of make, like, a mini BFF report type setup where I have the camera and I have this, but I'm sitting down, obviously. Uh, but like the microphone, I, I swivel this over here so I can use it for this. And when I do Tweemo and Legendary, I swivel it back that way. So I have something streamlined, but as far as doing stuff like Tweemo and 15 Mog, I'm sorry, uh, BFF Report and 15 Mog, that's just not possible going uh, forward. It's just too much of a, doing it with the green screen is just too much of a hassle. That and the fact that this is the biggest part too. Everybody is doing 
freaking green screen. Like, Swifty's doing green screen. Come on, man. Like, I love Swifty. Don't get me wrong, I love Swifty. But it's this has been a year of the green screen where everybody is like, oh, I could chroma key stuff. My, my Logitech webcam will remove background elements. That's crazy. I'm going to use it. I'm going to do it all, all the time. Um, which I think is great for people to get into that because they start to learn about production, they start to learn about how that stuff works, and you develop from there, right? It's like a stepping stone. Um, I feel like I've been doing it for, for a couple of years now. It's time for a change. I think that green screens are going to be a thing of the past. That's 2011, 2010. 2012 is going to be all about building sets. Uh, I love having a set, an actual physical set, so I can show you guys the gear that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. You remember I used to actually have my, my triple monitor stand and all that stuff uh, set up over here, and that used to be a backdrop. It's like showing people what, what it is that you do, where you work every day, uh, but, in a, but in a nice, cool, techy set type setup, not just like, this is my cubicle, right? Or this is my, my bedroom, this is my bed in the background. Is it? I didn't make the bed today, but I wanted to make a video. I don't want to go that route. I'm going to make things that actually look cool. So for example, this guy here, uh, probably going to take down like one of these things here um, and dress it up a little bit, the wall, and hang like a 42 inch plasma or something, like a cheap one, 720p, plug in a monitor, and then just go from there. I'm um, not quite sure yet what I'm going to do, but I'll figure that out uh, later. But that's going to be the way to go, in my opinion. 2012, build yourself some sets, get some cool looking backdrops, and, and go from there. Don't rely on the green screen because anybody could do it, man, seriously. Like XSplit, built into XSplit, so everybody's doing it on there. Um, it's, it's, it's become, to me, it's, it's old news, it's old. 15 mod a little bit different because that was like, you know, uh, trickery and everything, like to be able to pull off those crazy shots, but it proved to be a little bit too much for what we wanted to do on a weekly basis, so we decided to go ahead and nix that. <sighs> um, what else? Let's see, shows going forward, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I want to try to do. I am PVPing, you guys really seem to like that. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna do more of that. I'm probably gonna end up posting it more on to uh, Game Breaker, though, if, if we go that route, I'm not sure. Um, if not, then fine, I'll keep posting it to YouTube. Uh, I, I want to flesh it out a little bit more. Right now, it's just me doing VO in the morning and just posting it, um, which is fine, it works, but I want to flesh it out a little bit more to make it a little bit more of a, of a show, uh, but not without using up too much time. Again, you know, Blues Blues takes two days, BFF Report takes two days, I have another mission that I'm working on for Star Wars, that's going to take two days, suddenly I'm working six days a week, and then what, uh, any other show that I do, it's going to take another day? It's like, forget it, man, it's not going to work out. Wife's not going to stick around for that. Um, she will, but I'm just saying, pretty sure she will. Uh, but let's see what else, what else? <sighs> so again, big thanks to you guys for making my 2011 amazing. Uh, you guys on Facebook for, for liking my page, Twitter for following me, uh, YouTube for subscribing to my videos. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. A lot of you guys ask, um, especially on YouTube, you guys are like, why does this guy have more views? Uh, the reason why is because if you like something, if you like a video that I do, share it. Just click share. Click tweet it out, put it on your Facebook page, whatever, and point out something. It's like, oh, this guy said this and it made me laugh, right? <laughs> whatever it is you want to say, LOL, enter, right? Just share the video. There's a share button underneath here. Uh, if you're looking on Facebook, there's a retweet button on Twitter. There's, uh, there's a share like link type, you know, uh, setup on YouTube. Uh, there's plenty of places you can go to actually share the video. Uh, so if you guys want to help me out, then do that. Advertising works. Um, I used to try advertising before in the past. It's not very effective unless you dump like tons of money into it, which I don't have tons of money. I didn't even buy Skyrim this year. So it's, I'm missing out on Skyrim. Yay, everybody look at play Skyrim. Let's go wait for it to be 99% off on Steam. Thanks. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't have the money to dump into doing huge advertising campaigns to just promote my YouTube channels. It's not going to happen. Uh, I'm primarily focused on getting GameBreaker.tv up off the ground and getting it uh, bigger next year. Uh, it's already huge in 2011, much bigger than it was in 2010, so I'm very excited to see what we can do in 2012. Um, but yeah, if you guys like something, just share it. I mean, don't, don't keep it all to yourself. Put it on Reddit. You know, when I see stuff on Reddit that, that other people post, I tweet that bitch out. And so I'm like, somebody posted this thing. And of course, everyone's like, oh, that's like your alt account. It's like, no, it's not. But um, if you like something, put it on Reddit. Go there and upload it. That will really help me out. Reddit is like a huge source of, uh, of views. So again, if you like something, share it with friends. Share it with the internet. Click it, click it all over the place, and you'll be helping me out. Uh, and we'll be getting more people in here, more feedback, more uh, communication with more people. I mean, I just... That's how you can help me. Now, um, it's funny, it's like when Christmas came around and I thought I had money, 
um, I was like, oh, it'd be great if I could actually give some stuff away and like buy like, I don't know, Guardian Cubs and WoW or subscription game cards or Amazon cards, give them away. Uh, unfortunately, all my money went towards family and friends gifts. So that didn't work out. Uh, didn't go to Skyrim, that's for sure. Um, but I was thinking, like, wait a minute, how do I give gifts away to, um, I think my allergies are kicking in, by the way, that's why I'm like Ugh, doing this. Um, how do I give away gifts to say it was seven or 8,000 Twitter followers and Facebook fans and 10,000 plus YouTube uh, subscribers? Like, how do you even begin to try to give away stuff to make it worthwhile? I have no idea. So when I figure that out, I'm gonna be doing some giveaway stuff. Uh, I actually still have my, my BlizzCon bag with a uh, little mini Tyrael in there. And I don't, I don't really care much for, for that one. I have the Deathwing over here, the Deathwing guy behind my, um, my little mini character in a dome, snow globe type thing. What's it called? Action figure, action prints, whatever. Figure prints. Um, I had that whole setup over here. I didn't really have a need to have a material, so I might give that away. So once I figure out how to do all this stuff, then I'll be able to actually reciprocate and throw this stuff out to you guys. So obviously, hopefully, or hopefully me doing videos is enough for you guys, that'd be great. Um, but I wanna be able to do like prizes and stuff like that, because I really appreciate what you guys have done for me so far this year. Um, and I like to be able to reciprocate in any, any way that I can. Um, it says the camera is probably gonna like explode. You guys saw the temperature thing earlier. Go ahead and one last thing, uh, negative pH. So you guys know that January 1st, 2012, 0101, new songs coming out. So we're doing a new song and it's gonna be a, there's gonna be a new song every month on the 1st. So we're sticking, to, we're gonna try really hard to stick to this schedule of doing not a music video. The first one's gonna be a music video. Um, not like a performance wise, it's more of like a, you have to wait and see. Um, we did some really cool tricks with it. Then the second one's I think gonna have like a music video type setup. Uh, we already know what song we're doing for that. We just have to finish it up. And then the third one's probably gonna be just like a regular video, something static or something. Um, but there's gonna be some kind of cohesive elements going across all the videos. I'm sure you guys will pick it up as you start watching them. Maybe not the first one, but maybe the second one, you're gonna start to see something. Uh, I think it's called ARG, right? You guys could follow that and see what, what will come from it. <sighs> um, there's also, oh, uh, so the reason why we're doing one song is because we have lots of tracks that are almost finished. But if we sat there and said, okay, because here's, here's what we think. We're like, oh man, I got this beat in my head, I gotta put it down. Boom, and I do this thing. And then Josh is like, oh, I got this thing, I gotta put it down. Boom, now we have like two songs. And it's like, okay, well, uh, let's do a little bit of this. Okay, well, I'm done with that, I'm gonna jump over here. Okay, I'm gonna do this over here. Well, we do that, but we do that with like 15 songs. So what ends up happening is, we have like 15 songs that are like 75% to like 95% done. If we sat there and said, okay, let's just dedicate all of our time to just finishing this album and getting it pumped out and everything, it would take us another six, seven months. So there'd be like no music for like another, actually close to eight months because we both work full time and it's very difficult to get together to work on stuff. Uh, then yeah, there wouldn't be anything for, I mean, that's a long time. So we decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and stick to a schedule because that'll keep us on a schedule. Uh, it'll give you guys fresh music every month to listen to. Granted, it'll be like a song, uh, but it's still, it's something, I, I hope. Uh, but that's coming out on the first uh, 99 cents. And the reason why we're selling it for like 99 cents is because if we put on an album for like $10 and it has 12 songs on it and you don't like four of them, then you, you, you feel like you're asked out $2, right? So at least this way, you guys can listen to the full song um, and you guys will be able to download it if you guys want to. Uh, and if not, then you don't have to. That's totally cool. Uh, we know that every song that we do is gonna appeal to everybody. Some people like the harder stuff, some people like the light stuff, whatever. Um, but uh, you know, we're giving you guys an option. You might go through all of 2012 and only buy six songs, uh, you know, six of the 12 songs. That's, that's cool because you're buying what you want. Um, and it keeps us on our toes and keeps us you know, bound to a schedule. So we, we enjoy that, we need that. We need that kind of structure. Oh man, what else? Oh, that's pretty much it guys. Um, <clears throat> this has been a great year. 2011 has been amazing. For gaming, it's been huge. Uh, I still have to do like a most controversial or something of 2011. Probably next week BFF report, obviously next week's BFF report. Um, and then probably take a look at what's coming in 2012. Uh, as far as gaming's concerned, uh, Solitaire just got like game of the year somehow. Uh, honestly, I, as far as MMO of the year, I wouldn't give it to Solitaire for 20, 20, 2011. I'll wait till 2012 because that's where it should be. Um, I would say, I'd have to say, look, I'm going into it, right? I would have to say that probably Rift would be the, uh, the launch of the year as far as MMO is concerned. Uh, if, if, if Sotor had come out six months ago, I would have a hard time picking between Sotor and Rift because Rift had, it was just a, a solid game. I like the gameplay mechanics. Um, it looked amazing, uh, but you know, 
Sotor had, you know, the, the voice acting, all that stuff. Maybe, maybe I'm not a real big fan of the way the game looks like, as far as um, art, art style, but still, it would be like this. But, you know, the game just came out, like, come on, two weeks ago, and game, they're like, oh, game of the year. It's like, really? What the hell? <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, anyways, that's a rant. Uh, that's it, guys. Again, last time. Thank you very much for an awesome 2011. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more and more stuff in 2012. Uh, music, video, photography, uh, all that stuff. I, I want to continue doing this, and the only way I'm going to be able to do it is if you guys are there to support me. That's the only reason why I'd keep doing it is if you guys support me. Yeah, sure, I'd sit there and, and make music and play it to myself. That's great. Um, but uh, I like to get stuff out there and have you guys listen to it and see you guys' reactions. You know, that's kind of, that's kind of how I like doing things. <sighs> um, that's it. Man, I, wish, I thought Sunday would come wandering in here for at least like a, oh, I can see her. She's in there knocked out. She's in lift up. Hey, Sunday. Hey. She's not even moving. She's, she hears me. Her tail like moves, but she's pretending, whatever. Whatever. Um, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching all of my shows. Have a great uh, rest of your 2011. Have a great New Year's. Hope you guys are actually enjoying yourself out there, having a good time. Uh, and 2012 should hopefully for all of us be very uh, prosperous um, and just, just all around, just, just great. I hope it all works out for everybody. Uh, that's it. I'm tired. I'm hungry, actually. I'm going to go eat. Should I have? Yeah, nugs.